What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about flannel shirts. All right, before we get into it, I wanna thank Taylor Store for sponsoring this video and for hooking me up with this awesome flannel shirt. I've reviewed a lot of made to measure shirt companies and you guys know that I'm not afraid to publish a negative review. You know, I, I tell you what I really think about a brand and I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed with Taylor Store. I decided to test their skills by ordering a casual button up shirt because I always order dress shirts, you know, from made to measure companies to test them out. And I thought, you know, let's see if I could get a casual button up shirt that actually fits and that has all the right details and Taylor Store delivered. Uh, their shirt designer is probably the best user interface I've come across uh, in terms of designing and customizing your shirt online. And it's really fun to use. You can see all of your customizations in real time. So if you change the color of the buttons or the type of fabric or the you know, shape of the collar, you can actually see a 3D rendering that applies your changes in real time. So you can see exactly what your shirt's gonna look like. And the shirt they made, it's great. You know, it's, it's better than anything that I could find off the rack at a mall or department store in terms of fit and details and quality. So click the link below in the description to check out Taylor Store today. Question for you. What's your favorite season for style? All right, for me, like I think a lot of men's style enthusiasts, I really like the cooler seasons. You know, I like fall and winter. At the end of summer, I'm just, I'm sick of wearing shorts and, you know, polos and t-shirts. Like I want to wear you know, jeans and jackets and vests and uh, boots and heavier, more interesting fabrics like flannel. And I really like to build my wardrobe with timeless uh, staples that aren't gonna go out of style anytime soon. And I think the flannel shirt is just the epitome of like a timeless staple that every man should have in his wardrobe. A lot of people think of flannel, they think of, you know, the, the lumberjack and that classic red and black plaid flannel shirt. But that's not your only option when it comes to wearing a flannel button-up. I mean, I personally, I, I like the grays and the blues and the greens and, you know, the other different patterns, like the small scale checks and patterns that aren't your traditional plaid red and black shirt. And the other thing is you don't have to wear flannel with just jeans and boots. You know, it's actually a pretty uh, versatile fabric and you can wear it in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to show you three example outfits from my own wardrobe using this flannel shirt. But before we get into the outfits, I wanna talk very briefly about, uh, first, how a flannel shirt should fit, and then second, the details that set it apart from a regular dress shirt. So how should a flannel shirt fit? Well, really like any other casual button-up shirt, uh, but in my opinion, it's okay if it fits a little more relaxed, because at the end of the day, a flannel shirt is a work shirt. So you should be able to go outside and shovel some snow and not feel like your shirt is gonna you know, rip Incredible Hulk style because it's so tight. Specifically, when you're trying to figure out if a flannel shirt fits, uh, you should check the shoulder seams. So the, the shoulder seams should sit right where your natural shoulder and your arm meet. So it shouldn't be hanging down on your arm and it shouldn't be up closer to your neck. The sleeves should end right where your wrist meets your hand. So you know that little round bone right there where your arm meets your hand? it should go just past that bone, but no further. The collar should be loose enough that you can button the top button comfortably, but no looser than that. And then the length of the shirt should hit at about mid-fly. So the longest part of the front of your shirt should end at about mid-fly. It shouldn't go down past the bottom of your fly because that means it's probably too long. So that's how the shirt should fit, but what about the little details? Because a, a casual button-up shirt, especially flannel, is inherently different than a dress shirt that you'd wear with a suit and a tie. So here's what to look for. The collar should be soft, okay? So it shouldn't have that stiff inner lining, that fusing that the collar of a dress shirt has. I also prefer a shorter collar. And this one is rounded, so it's called a club collar. But uh, you, know, you can go with a traditional point collar, or a button-down collar, or a club collar. But the, the key is that the actual length, the collar point length is shorter. And especially if you're a shorter guy, this is gonna be more flattering on your frame. Similarly, the sleeve cuffs should be soft. Okay, so they shouldn't have that, that thick fusing that gives them the stiffness of a dress shirt. And again, if you're a shorter guy, you should opt for a shorter sleeve cuff. And if you're buying a shirt through a company like Taylor Store, you can customize all of this stuff, which is really nice. 
Obviously, if you're buying it off the rack at like J. Crew or something, you can't say, hey, I want that shirt, but make sure the collar is shorter, make sure the cuff is shorter. You don't have to take what you get. Um, the other customization I like uh, for a casual button-up shirt is the shape of the hem. So it's the way that the bottom of the shirt is cut. Now, a dress shirt is gonna have these dips along each side, and it's gonna create these long wings, and that's because it's meant to be tucked in. Now, a casual button-up shirt is gonna have either a uh, straight hem or just a slight dip on either side. And if it has a slight dip, it means that it can be worn untucked or tucked. Although let's be honest, you'll probably usually wear these shirts untucked. Okay, so now we understand the fit of a flannel button-up shirt and the details that set it apart from your dress shirt, but how do you wear it? Let's look at three example outfits starting with the most casual. All right, so outfit number one, we have dark jeans, boots, uh, no jacket, uh, shades, and a watch. And you know, this seems like a basic outfit, right? It's casual shirt, jeans, and boots. But what sets us apart is it's not your blue jeans and your red plaid shirt and your brown work boots. You know, this is uh, much different than that. It's, it's uh, you know, gray and blue flannel shirt and uh, dark jeans and midnight suede boots, you know, and, and dark accessories. So it's, it's much more edgy than your traditional, you know, lumber sexual outfit. This is just an example of how to wear the classic flannel shirt, jeans and boots outfit, uh, but not look like everybody else wearing that outfit. Outfit number two, we have uh, navy chinos, boots, uh, glasses, uh, the flannel shirt, and then a quarter zip pullover. Now, this is a great business casual outfit. You could totally wear this to work. And then, you know, this is the kind of outfit that you could go straight from work to happy hour and not look out of place. Adding just a, you know, a merino v-neck sweater or a, a quarter zip pullover like this is a great way to add a very smart casual layer to your outfit. So this is uh, just a, a solid outfit for a business casual setting. Then outfit number three, we have jeans, boots, flannel shirt, uh, and a vest. So uh, a second layer and then a field jacket, a, a lightweight jacket. And you know, th this, is my, this is my uniform, th this outfit. Um, if I had to pick one outfit to wear for the rest of my life, it would be some variation of this outfit. It's warm, you know, it's versatile. You can take the jacket off. You could take the vest off if it's too warm. Uh, you could wear a heavier jacket if it's not warm enough. You could swap the boots out for uh, snow boots, you know, if it's really cold and wear a parka instead of the field jacket. Um, so this is really like my go-to fall outfit. And then I'll also wear some variation of this outfit uh, throughout the winter and early spring too. So we talked about how the flannel shirt should fit, the details that make it different from a normal dress shirt. And I hope this video helps you understand, uh, you know, how you can actually wear the flannel shirt and how versatile it really is. Big thanks again to Taylor Store for sponsoring this video. And listen, if you're in the market for a new shirt, highly recommend Taylor Store. At the very least, go play with the shirt designer because it's a very fun tool to use. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, as always, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a quick thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channel out. And until next time, stay stylish.